Hello, this is Wampire. For today's lesson, we're going to be working with single knife. All right, so the form that we're going to be using is the six angles of attack. So it's six movements, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so starting again, that is a diagonal down, diagonal down, horizontal, horizontal, and then diagonal upwards, diagonal upwards. Okay, so one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice that same form in three different ways. Okay, so the first one is just your regular slash. Everybody does this. So that's slash one, two, three, four, five, and six. Try to stay in a fighting stance, okay, and try to stay in a good form and be like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Don't don't be like, you know, like this, or just like you're watching TV and you're distracted, and you're not even really putting effort into it. No, may, take a fighting stance, be in a good form like this. You could be moving around if you want. You could, you could put in some effort. Even if it's just shadow boxing, you could still get a decent workout. Going one, two, three, four, five, six, see? and just keep going like that. All right, so the next movement really comes from the machete, but you could still apply it with a knife. And what that is, is basically what I call hacking. A hack is basically the same thing as to strike. You're striking with a blade. And if your blade is sharp, you'll be able to stick it. So when you let go, it'll still be stuck on there, on the target, okay? So that's essentially what we're doing. We're not slashing, all right? you're striking with it. So it just goes bam, like this, and then, like I said, you let go, and it'll be stuck there. Okay, so you could do it like that. So we go one, two, three, four, and then five and six, all right? So just keep in mind that what you, your goal is to stick the blade onto the target. Okay, so this last one out of the three to me is the most interesting and the most difficult, all right? What we're doing here is we're gonna do all of that, but now they're all gonna be stabs, okay? So the movement is still, the general movement is still the same, the angles of attack that it follows is still the same, but what you're doing here is instead of slashing all the way down, is you're gonna stab, okay? I'm still coming over here, from here, and I'm stabbing, and then I'm gonna finish right here, and then my number two, We'll start from here, just like the normal number two would go, except it's going to be a stab, and it'll be right here. So number three, instead of a horizontal, is going to be a stab, but it starts off as a horizontal, it stabs, and it finishes just the way I would the horizontal, okay? And then here we go for number four, is the same idea. It's like I'm going to do the horizontal, but I'm going to stab, and I'm going to finish over here. So that sets me up for number five, which is the diagonal upwards, and I'm going to stab. It comes back here, and same with number six, is diagonal upwards again. I'm gonna stab and come up here again. So it is tricky, but please try to practice. Um, the one thing that might help is if you actually make contact with a target. Uh, make sure that you're not too close to the target, because if you're real close to the target, it's gonna be a stab. So even if you are coming from a different angle, the stab is going to be so dominant that you're not really going to feel that you are coming from another angle. And the whole point is the starting position is extremely important. So is the ending position, but in this case, more so the starting position. So to emphasize that, make a distance. Make a big distance and start off like you're going to slash. So you're going to start off like this, and there's your stab right there. So it's like I want to do this, but I'm going to stab, and then I'm going to come here, okay? Number two, it's like I'm, I want to slash this way, but I'm going to stab and come here. See, this is nice. I'm having a lot of, I'm covering a lot of distance. So same with the horizontal. Instead of just going this way, I'm going to go boom and here. Okay, boom and here. Boom and here. Boom and here. So one, two, three, four, five and six. All right, so last but not least, I wanna cover using the corner of like your wall. Uh, even better would be a door ledge, okay? Uh, with a wall, there's a chance that you might mark it up, so it's not a good idea. With a door ledge, I think uh, it's safer for you. So if you can, use, please use a door ledge. Uh, right here, I'm just gonna use this, the corner of the wall right here, 
And uh, the idea here is with a knife, basically for the number one thing that we did was we practiced slashes, right? So three, four, five, and six, we're practicing slashes. All right, but uh, to get more detailed, all right, as you get more detailed, as you become better, you're gonna be able to use different areas of the knife, okay? So one of the things is to use the upper half versus the lower half of the blade, okay? So if you have a huge knife or you're using something like a short sword or a machete, then you could go top, middle, and bottom area of the blade. But with a knife, generally, I think just upper and lower is enough, okay? So you're gonna do the same slashes, but you're gonna focus on first, you could just do upper slashes. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and six. You need to be able to control that. And then next, you could do the same six forms, but now using the lower half, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it should feel different, all right? Okay, so I also talked about using other, you know, areas of the blade. So we could use the side, and we could also use the spine. So if you want to go more defensive or you want to go non-lethal, those are good choices right there. So as you practice this, you know, specifically decide I'm going to use the side right here so that's my one two three four you know so practice that and then you could also use the spine of the blade as well two and then you could mix it up now I use the spine one two now I'm gonna go for the blade three and four and you can switch it up five and six I'm gonna go back to the spine so you know that'll give you some uh, extra ways to practice and last but not least, if you actually have a softer uh, target, then now you could also incorporate your fist. I think that's also very important. So I would actually do it with the blade, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you put in tons of reps like that, and then go into fist to where you're actually punching. One, two, three, and four, five, and then six, where you could actually feel the difference. All right, so that's it for now, and that should give you guys plenty of ways to practice at home for the time being. Uh, thank you for watching, and take care, folks.